Hey, this is Josh Brown with Clean Pro Exteriors. I'm about to change the oil in my Honda GX390. Just wanted to take a minute and show you guys how to do this. Uh, in, on my engine, I had the dipstick over on this side. There. And over here on the mount that the engine is on there's a small hole here and right where that hole is there's a screw and if yours is like mine you may have that it may be a little different you'll just have to analyze it and see how yours is set up but what you want to do is I've already loosened this I have a bucket underneath here for the oil to drain into and I got the pressure washer lifted off the ground a little bit you're just gonna get this unscrewed and as soon as you pull that thing off it's going to start coming out and what you can do to kind of help that flow out you can loosen your dipstick and get the air going Okay, just gonna let that drain. May have to tilt it a little bit to help help it drain out, but I'm gonna give that a few minutes. Pressure washer's not hot, so the oil is gonna flow rather slow. So I'll be back and show you how to finish up this process. Now that that's drained, you can go ahead and replace that nut that was there. I'm going to go ahead and secure it, snug. Okay, now is also a good time to go ahead and check your air, air filter, which would be here in this unit. Okay. Pull that out. What you can do is you can take this foam part off. You can wash that. You can just in soap and water, let it dry. That's what the uh, manual recommended on my unit. And with the actual filter part, once you get the foam off, you just take a harder surface, surface and kind of beat it on that surface. You can take a, a air compressor and blow it out real good. You know, not too much pressure. We'll just clean that out this is clean so we don't have to worry about that just going to replace put everything back on and this part you don't want to tighten too much you just get it snug <clears throat> put your cover back on and this is also a good time if you if your unit has an oil filter go ahead and change your oil filter check your air filter check your seals make sure all the seals are good before you put everything back on next you're going to want to take your oil and for this it was recommended to use hd30 by my manufacturers so i got a hd30 i'm just going to refill it all right i just put a quart emptied the bottle and before you finish up you want to go ahead and check it okay. the oil is about right there which is good you can add a little bit more if you'd like to get it to about here and that would be sufficient so that's probably what I'll do just put a little bit more in there again you want to go ahead and check your seals which is that check your seals make sure everything's good um, if you have a smaller bucket than what I used you actually don't have to put it up on these things you can just slide something underneath there and that will that will work as well so that's the Honda GX 390 oil change
This is Josh Brown. I hope you find these videos helpful. I'm doing my best to put as much many tips and how to videos out there as I can to try and help guys who are just starting out. The more my business grows, the more problems that I run to and I'm able to resolve and put them on video, um, the more that you'll be able to benefit from the videos. So as my business grows, hopefully so will the help that I'm able to offer. Um, if you would like to receive those videos, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you find them, these videos helpful, you can hit the like button and uh, there'll be more to come. Thank you for watching.